This is a Peeps Jet Force Rider 10. It's a few years old, but I just want to do a little how-to video. It's a Sky's assistance. Hey, Sky. You can watch, huh? So the first thing you do, check your battery. I'm at 75%. percent i going to turn it on. Press and hold for five seconds. And you'll hear that. Three to five seconds. Okay, now it's on. And when it's on, you'll see a green light flashing. So in order to inflate it, you just pull down on this hard. That's what it looks like. Scare <laughs> Okay, it runs for a couple minutes, heavily inflating it, making sure that it's uh, even if you hit a branch or something like that, it will uh, continue to inflate it even with the cut inside the bag. Within that couple minute period, it will stop. <laughs> And then it will let out the air so that you have a chamber inside of your... If you are underneath the snow, then you'll have a chamber underneath the snow which, in which you can breathe. Within that three to five minute time frame, it will completely suck all the air out. And like I said, it will give you a nice large area if you are buried under the avalanche to move around and plenty of air to breathe until someone digs you out. All right, once the bag is depleted properly, uh, Reinstall the bag. You got to start on the, on um, I guess would be the right hand side, and you got to take the zipper and take it all the way back around. And there's one part in here that's super important. And I'll show you in just a sec. So you just treat it like a normal zipper at this point, and stuff the bag in. Is located right here. We'll just kind of push that excess air outside, reversing the motor like that. Back through the motor, spin the fan so it'll come out. Then, and this is the important part <clears throat> right here, uh, we take the, the zipper, and this is where you want to make sure you don't make a mistake here. You absolutely do not leave it. You, it kind of makes sense. You could stop right here. You actually pull through like that all the way down. And this clip is what you actually use to fold this over and clip it. And it's super important because if this zipper's here, when it blows out, it might not open all the way. So the reason this design, it's a little complicated, but it's, it's, it's really not that hard if you follow directions well. Um, I sounded terrible. But, um, you just make sure the zipper, the, the directions are all right here actually. It shows do not stop the zipper there. You bring it all the way down. And when it blows up, it just unzips it really quickly. And I've never had a problem with, um, with this ha uh, coming undone or, or having an issue with it. Someone else might have, but I haven't. And I have snowmobile ski and backcountry ski all the time, and I've hit trees and bushes, and uh, 
pretty simple. Um, I've done it twice in the last uh, half hour, and I'm looking at 50% uh, now. So usually have uh, three or four uh, per charge, and so it's pretty it's pretty incredible that you're able to do that without you know recharging it every time. Um, I've never gone down below 50% just for probably getting a good habit of charging it. Uh, if you have any questions, leave comments below.